summer, I am doing a calf training challenge. So we're gonna start it off with 30 days and we'll see from there, maybe I'll extend it out. Um, I made myself a little chart so I can keep track from day to day how many I do. And the goal on this one, I don't need bigger calves. Like genetically, a lot of the, your calf size is genetics and I have huge calves, I always have. Um, and so while a lot of people will do these calf training challenges and hope to, to grow their calves, I, that's not one of my goals. In fact, if they got smaller, that would be great for me. I would like to have more muscle definition, that would be super cool, but mostly I'm doing this because I want stronger calves. I'm a runner, I, I'm gonna try some high jumping this summer, and I just want to have stronger calves, and so I'm gonna try this for 30 days, um, and we're gonna go ahead and measure to see what I'm starting at, and then I, I kind of have a plan, but it might evolve as we go. All right, so let's get into the measurements. All right, so, Here's my calf before doing any calf raises so they're not pumped or anything. We'll just measure it and go around the biggest part of the calf. Okay, so these are my calves before. All right, so we're just getting started. My first set I just did was 100. Then I came, I got 50 more, then 50 more, then 50 more, then 50 more. And 50 more. So that's where I'm at so far for the day. Alright, hey guys, it's Tyler from After The Run and I have now finished the 30 day calf training challenge. So I wanted to share my results with you. I kept track on this paper of how much I did and for the most part, I did it in sets of 50. I found that on the first day I could do a set of 100 but then it would hurt so bad that it would be harder to do the next set. Whereas if I just did a set of 50, and I would get tired by the end, uh, or it would, I guess not tired, but it would start to hurt a little by the end, by, you know, from 40 to 50, you would start to feel it. And on the first day after I finished, the next day my legs hurt, my calves were sore. And if you haven't done calf raises in a while and you do these, you can probably do 50 to 100, and it won't feel that bad at the beginning, but the more you do, it will start to hurt a little bit, and then the next day you're gonna feel it. Well, that's how it was for the first day or two, but after that, if I just did sets of 50, I could do as many as 300, 400, even 500 in a day, simply by, by breaking it up, doing 50 here, 50 there. It became kind of a regular part of my routine during the month. Now, because I was doing the 30 day challenge, I did try to remember to do some every day. Normally I wouldn't be like, oh, woke up, I need to do calf raises today. And I did have one obstacle as you see, as I scroll down through my workouts, I did pretty good at the beginning, 500, 350, 500, 550, and I did that for the first two weeks, and then normally I'd want to up that, but I actually was doing a, a track meet, and I didn't want to be sore. Um, I had been doing research about calf training, and, 
and a lot of people that are in the middle of calf training when they compete, um, you're actually more susceptible to injury and, and it's not good for you. And so I actually kind of phased out for about a week uh, and then I did my track meet where I competed in the steeplechase. I'll make a different video about that. But then I came back for the last week or so, 100, 100, up to 250. And then at the end, I wanted to see how much I could do in one day if I really made a concerted effort to do it. And so all day long, like every 10 minutes, I'd try to get up and do another set of 50. And I ended up doing over 20 sets. So uh, by the end of the day, I'd done 1,111 uh, calf raises. And, and I thought I was gonna die the next day. I thought I wouldn't be able to walk. But after having done a whole month of calf training, it actually wasn't that bad. By the end of the day, it still was relatively easy because I was resting between sets. And the next day, I didn't feel any soreness and I, it was just like a normal day for me. So I was really, really surprised by that, that even on the days where I could do over a thousand, um, it didn't have a huge impact. Now, if we go through the whole thing and tell it all up, at the end of the month, I ended up doing over 5,000 calf raises. Now, these were pretty simple calf raises and I wanted to know if it would make my legs stronger, if I'd have more muscle definition. So I'm gonna put up, here's the before and the after, and you can see the biggest change in my calves are that I have a better tan line now from running for a month. Here we are in the summer, and those ankle socks are sure showing. Uh, so that was the biggest change. Do I have a little bit more definition in my muscles? Perhaps, it's really too hard to tell. So if you're gonna do a calf, challenge if you really want to have more definition in your calves there's two things that you can do one is you can do it for longer 30 days isn't enough and over these 30 days I watched a bunch of videos online to see if anyone else had success and their results were like mine no growth in muscle growth no major change in definition um, you're just not going to get that much results for just 30 days so, so if you're going to do this do it for 100 days or even longer uh, the other thing that could make a difference is by doing better calf raises. Simply body weight without a ledge is not going to do nearly as much for you as if you did it off a stair, for example, or if you brought a step um, into your home gym. Those of you who actually go to the gym, they have machines for calf raises, and if you use that, that will make more of a difference. Um, I guess there's something called a Smith machine that you can use and other things that help you with calf raises. Um, I don't go to the gym, I just stay here at home, and my balance isn't good enough to do it off of a ledge with body weight, or with, with actual weight. But I found that even just taking the weights I'm doing, so if I'm doing a set, maybe I'm doing some curls, I can take those same dumbbells, do a set of 50 or even less, maybe 25 with the additional weight, if I'm doing an extra 50 pounds, then that's gonna give more of a burn, and that's gonna build more muscle in your calves. So if you really want to build stronger calf muscles uh, and see more definition, either do it with body weight for a longer period of time or do it with additional weight and that will work for you. Uh, for me, uh, what I learned here is that calf raises are relatively easy to do and I found by the end of the month, just this became a regular part of my weightlifting routine and so I don't think I'm gonna continue to do it every day and I certainly not do sets throughout the day, but on the days where I'm in the gym anyways, and I need a rest from lifting, um, so if I'm doing the bench press or something like that, and I need a, a rest between reps, then I can pull the additional weight on, do a set of calf raises, and make that a regular part of my lifting routine, and I think that's gonna make a big difference for me in the long run. Hopefully this uh, challenge video was a little bit helpful for you. Uh, if you want to see me do other challenges like this, I also did a 30-day 5K challenge where I ran a 5K every day, and I tried a water challenge, but I, I haven't published those yet. If you'd like me to do any sort of other kind of challenge, put it in the comment section and I will consider those. All right, have a great day, bye.